Welcome to this vlog. This is basically a follow-up of my room tour I did on my main channel, which you can watch right here. Originally, I planned to talk in that video about the improvements I still want to do in my room, but just for watch time's sake and so the video had a flow, I cut that out of the video. So this vlog right here is gonna capture me taking the room to the next level and just doing the little improvement product projects that I originally wanted to do. I'm gonna show you the current state and some things I already updated. Welcome back to Juice and let's get started. I got two new Muji drawers. Organizational wise, it's helping me out to separate the different kinds of clothes, but somehow I still feel like I need to do some sorting out in terms of clothing which is kind of contradicting what we're building today. I think I am a bit conflicted with <laughs> being a minimalist slash enjoying fashion. I know you can do both. I actually do believe that if you have a very well curated wardrobe, that is gonna involve less pieces. But I'm still on my way there and still on my way to understanding fashion and what fits my body type and what is my style <laughs> that I'm not completely there. That's why I think I'm conflicted. So this is currently my clothing corner and what we're doing today is build a clothing rack over here. I'm excited about the idea of having a clothing rack. The first reason is storage efficiency. I would love to display my hoodies and just grab them on the go. I feel like that right now is a bit more efficient than stuffing them all into a drawer, maybe hang up some jackets. And also I think it's gonna add something to this room and look good. I wanna see my clothes that I like and be inspired by them. So since I've moved in, I've been dreaming of building a simple, very simple clothing rack. And now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna construct this. Welcome in the workshop. I think I've never properly filmed here, but I'm sure you're gonna see more. I'm gonna use this remainder of my carpet for bourbon so he can lay on the floor. So this is what I got. Um, it's 11. pretty strong, 11. And I got two meters, but we're gonna cut this down to I'm 130. Bro. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm almost ninja slapping Nay with the stick. Let's put this down. This is the rope I got. I think it's quite a nice, more natural fiber material. And I think, I think this should be strong enough.
think it's literally a week later <laughs> I didn't get around to filming the finished product and I can't believe that it's only been a week it feels like I've had this in my room for ages now it's super practical I'm even hanging up some pants because these tend to get wrinkles super fast that's why I like to hang them up I need to get some new or more hangers I don't own any I just borrowed this from my mom these are ones we aren't using so these are perfect because they're wood and I like that aesthetic. Yeah, generally, I think the measurements are really good. I just made sure there's some distance between the hangers and the wall. And the great thing about the simplicity of this build is that you can hire this and lower it anytime. So if I have dresses that are longer, this works just fine right now, <laughs> even though it's pretty long. And going with the theme of this room, it's about simplicity and practicality and also being able to change things up. I also got this new from Ikea. I already had the bulb, I just left it. I took off Nay's lampshade and added this moon. I think it ties the vibe together pretty well. If you're looking for a neutral, maybe a bit softer type of lamp for your room, this one or a style like this is usually pretty affordable and I think is quite versatile and will fit in a lot of rooms. Besides the fact that it looks like a moon. Pretty cool, let me turn it on. <laughs> the bulb in here is quite warm and I like it, I like it. I did change the bedding to this one, which is this parsley pattern that's very enlarged. And then this white one that just has some texture. I then I have this blanket which is super old from Ikea as well. I'm using this new pillowcase I got from Muji. Look how pretty it is. I wish to buy the entire set for my bed one day, but it's pretty expensive. So for now, we just have one pillowcase. Here's an overview of my room. We have... <laughs> I hope this video was interesting, um, seeing these little projects that I did to improve my room and just take it to the next level. Um, for now, that's gonna be it. <laughs> and um, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.